Hello everyone. Um, so I thought I'll just make a new video um, showing my TV stand, uh, or rather the laser TV stand, um, which is holding my Epson LS800 USD projector and my speaker, my receiver. Um, and somehow I'm still, um, you know, having my screen at a decent height. Um, and it wasn't easy to get this table done. Um, I'll cut to the chase probably. I'll just, I'll, I'll I made this table myself. Um, there isn't, there isn't anything in the market that I could find, which is, you know, cheap enough. So I had to make this myself. Um, but let me just explain, um, in a bit, you know, what all things you have to consider, uh, to make it, to keep a good table to put your, um, projector on. So, um, so Epson LS800, it's one of the, um, shortest through ultra short through projector. Um, this distance, I think it's about, it's about nine inches. Uh, I would say it's about eight inches from the wall. Um, or not the wall, the screen. Um, and then this height, I remember it was like 13 inches or something like that. Um, it's the start of the screen from the bottom. Uh, it's about, it's about 13 and a half to 14 inches. Um, so 14 inches on the screen from the top of the table and then my table i believe is 14 inches let me check all right sorry yeah my table from the ground is like 14 and a half to 15 inches so 15 inches and 14 inches so that's my 29 inches from the ground my screen um I still have a good amount of space um, on my ceiling above the screen. Um, I mean, before I reach the ceiling. And then, and this is a nine foot wall. Um, so I think this is pretty all right. I mean, this is my main listening position. Uh, it's a wide angle lens. So it might be a little bit, bit crooked, but It'll give you an idea that this is really where my eyes is, eyes are. Um, so I find this viewing position is perfect um, and the table is perfect. All right, so let's get to the table. Um, what I've done, so I've gone through multiple, you know, like um, phases in this whole USD projector journey. Um, at first I thought there will be something available in like Amazon, Wayfair or something to get one of those tables. And man, there is, there is like, there isn't anything available that is like less than, I don't know, 300 bucks or even more. You wouldn't get the perfect one, something that wouldn't be <clears throat> as low as this. Most of the TV tables I've seen, they are like 18 inches high from the ground. So 18 inches plus um, the fifth 14 inches is like 32 inches, right? So it's 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 probably probably okay. Actually, 18 inches is also hard to find. You probably see like 24 inches is the average um, height of the TV table. So that's too high. 24 plus uh, 13 or 14 is like 37. That's that's very high for a projector screen to start. So. Um, so what I've done is um, I, I felt that you should just need something for the speaker and something for the receiver and the projector. I first thought that I should be able to get this top surface very wide. This is this is already wide. I think it's about 18 inches or something like that. So th I thought this top surface I could just get much wider, like come even up to here. And I could keep the speaker in front of the projector. 
Um, but then after doing the mathematics, it didn't seem like that will be realistic because my speaker is going to be standing almost like here, which is, and if I do that, and then I have to move my, the left and right speakers, it just, the speakers are all way too, um, it, it's, it's going to be very close to my listening position. And, and more importantly, it's going to be, I don't know, it's going to be aesthetically, it's going to be very, very ugly. So I didn't want to do that. Um, I thought that I'll have, because I was making this myself. So I thought I'll have like a, a piece of wood that would go over here and like a bridge on top of the projector. Um, and then keep my center speaker over there. But then I realized even if I did that, um, I'll be cutting very close to my screen uh, because this is, like I said, this is like, um, <clears throat> ah, never mind. Um, this is like 40 inches and this is like seven inches, I believe, the speaker. So <clears throat> it's going to be cutting too close. I mean, I might be just, <clears throat> I might, excuse me, I might be just on the, um, on the screen surface or maybe sometime a good good up also so i haven't done that that could be one of the option but even in that case remember this this is where the screen is right so the laser um comes from here right it goes to the screen and if i look at the screen um it's really like here so you can get the speaker up to this point uh which is about three inches in um but still your speaker is gonna be, you know, staying quite quite a few inches in front of the projector, so um, it's not gonna be really bridge and keep the speaker on top of the projector. It's gonna be bridge and keep the speaker top, but also to the front of the projector, like towards your your position. <coughs> Excuse me, I've got a bad cold. <clears throat> just recovering from it sorry about that but um yeah so uh, it, it's not <clears throat> it's not realistically possible to have the uh speaker on top of the projector uh at least for this epson ls800 so what i've done is i've just um made the height of the projector has to be your primary consideration sorry how height of the table has to be your primary consideration like uh what's the what's the distance of your projector uh from the bottom of the projector to the bottom of the screen what's that distance you can go to the projector screen.com and put your measurement there so that's that's what you want to first find out so if you want 30 inches at the you know bottom of the screen from the ground so 30 then subtract that number if that is like 15 inches <clears throat> then you have 15 inches subtracted from 30 inches so you you can then have this table 15 inches long um high there wouldn't be i guess any table that will be 15 inches high on amazon or wayfair so you probably have to make one um if you do make one if you remember this that then you keep, you can keep the speaker underneath you can you can make like a like a cabinet kind of thing and put the speaker underneath um i have this these things um these razors uh which is making the speaker kind of angling upwards and that's my listening position it's it works pretty well i i never felt that i'm not listening the the center speaker not listening to the voice or anything like that i i i, I feel i'm hearing everything just fine uh, my receiver is here on the right side um, and I don't really have anything to keep on the left um, but maybe I don't know if I ever get a amplifier or something I might put in there but uh, for now I'm just gonna you know <clears throat> keep my cameras and stuff there um, I don't like <laughs> I don't like the finish of this uh, table I, I use the wrong stain and then I uh, tried to um, send it out and made it worse but 
anyway, um, that's a different thing. But anyway, I just wanted to make a quick video showing what's my setup for the table. And, uh, well, it's not easy. I mean, I, I always feel like there's, a, there's so many USD uh, projectors these days, um, 4K, 8K and whatnot. Um, there is there is um, not a good solution for your center speaker. There's not a good solution for even getting a normal like a TV table and have the screen at a decent height with the CUSTs. Um, it's a very, very early phase, I would say. Um, I think there are companies who make, you know, like movable, um, retractable table with the drawers and everything. It's like $3,000. I mean, come on, man. I mean, my projector is 3500 My screen is 1500 I'm going to need a table for $3,000 after that. It makes, I don't know, to me, it doesn't make any sense. I would rather <clears throat> get a standard projector instead. Um, so, yeah, I mean, obviously, if you get um, a speaker behind the screen and have the screen, like, acoustically transparent, that's perfect um, if you could do that. But anyway, all right. Um, hit me a like or leave a comment, anything about what you think about your journey with the USD, your journey with the tables, or any setup for USD, and I'll be happy to respond. Have a great rest of your day. Bye.